All right, welcome back. Today is one of my favorite days of the year. It's May the 4th, and I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so of course, may the 4th be with you. Today's a little bit different. We're going to be opening up some Star Wars items in celebration of this glorious day. Ah, oh, Star Wars! <laughs> Nothing but Star Wars! Let's go. You want my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket. <laughs> All right, we are back. Today is a little bit different than normal. No, I'm not opening Pokemon. Today is one of my favorite days of the year because I get to say it, may the 4th be with you. Now, in order of precedence on how I rate my hobby, and this may be hurtful to some, but I go sports, Star Wars, then Pokemon, and then Marvel. So in that order, I am a Star Wars nerd, always have been since the very first movie. Yes, I'm old. Uh, but I've been a fan. I've gone to the theater and seen every movie that Star Wars has put out other than some of the sub-series like Solo and a few others where I watched those on demand. But for the most part, I've seen them all. All the miniseries, everything. So doing a Star Wars theme, I have booster boxes of the Star Wars sets. I have some specialty Chinese set. Um, I have, like you'll see here, some of these Topps Chrome um, Star Wars from 2023 that we're going to open today. But one of the things that I purchased that I thought was pretty pretty neat, because I did buy a Pokemon version too that I'll open later that you'll see. But for this, this, and it's hard to get on camera, but this is a smuggler's crate, and I'll link the information. Uh, but I'll actually go through the information of what comes in a smuggler's crate. And then we'll take actually each item out, which I have not gone through. I've opened the box, but I haven't gone through the items because I actually want to do this on camera. And then at the end, we're going to open up the autograph card uh, box to see uh, if we got anything out of that. So strap in. Get ready for light speed. Because this is going to be an exciting adventure as we dive into Star Wars. This is the collector's edition the ultimate Star Wars collector's box. The definitive smuggler's crate experience tailored for true Star Wars fans. Unbox a selection of Star Wars gears and collectibles. So what comes inside of it? It's 10 plus Star Wars items with no duplicates, including premium figures, memorabilia, collectibles, and more. So they'll use officially licensed product plus items from independent retailers. So as you can see in the picture, you get figures or memorabilia, lifestyle or accessories, artwork, and more. You can go to smugglerscrate.com and check it out for yourself. We'll leave the box up here. We'll reach into each one and look at it. I'm not really sure. You got the mask! But the first item, and I might have to show it on my front, is a, a Chewbacca plushie. It is an official Star Wars from Mattel. I love Chewbacca. You're welcome. So that's cool. Chewbacca. That's nice. And yes, the stuffed animals will go to my kids. Shut up. I only do the collector side. Oh, we got a... All right. So we got a pop, which I do not collect these at all. I mean, at all. I have none. Zero. But this is cool. Ninum. Is that his name? So he was the co-pilot for Lando in Return of the Jedi. If you remember on the tack on the second Death Star. Oh yeah, I am a huge Star Wars nerd. Huge. So this is pretty cool. I don't know the value. You can see some of the other ones that come in it. You got Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! You're welcome. You got Princess Leia, Han Solo, I, Sedan, Ethan, no, whatever. I don't know who that is. So there's a few of them that, again, am I that close to it that I know all the minor characters' names? No. But that is pretty cool. Don't know the value again. I'll probably look it up and post it. But pretty cool. 
All right, next thing. Something in some paper. Waiting for the soup to hit my system with Grogu. So this is a pencil case. All right, so again, this will go to the kids. Oh shit. All right. That's interesting, it's got a Poe Dameron. So this is from the newer series, of course, if you know Poe. So this is a pop number 174. I don't know why it's gold. I'll have to look that up if there's a difference there. So you got Poe, you got Snook, you got Phasma, and then you got Porg. The little uh, things that were bothering Chewbacca. Wow. All right. That is... Uh, that's pretty cool. I might actually just set him off to the side since he's small enough. There's also, it looks like a keychain. You got Yoda. Tell you I will. Again, you're welcome. I think that is pretty cool. Not sure what I'll do with keychains, but I am a nerd for this stuff, but mostly for like the cards or the collectible side, so not necessarily these type of small items. I think I said that already, but I don't care. I'll say it again. Oh, we got an action figure. <laughs> we got Saw Gerrera. So I can't get it all in, but this is from Rogue One. So this is the Black Series. Wow, Ty, you are not ready for this. So this is from the Black Series. That's cool. Or maybe I could show it in this camera. Here we go. Saw Guerrero. Pretty cool. All right. That's different. That was a crazy character from Rogue One. He's also in the in the video game. All right, we got something in paper. Looks like a coffee mug and it is it's one of my favorite characters it's Boba Fett so we got an officially licensed at least it's all officially licensed it's not you know mom and pop shop type items but this is pretty cool so this is a coffee mug Boba Fett pretty nice I don't know if I'd Put that as a top item. All right, we got a few items left. Oh, we got a little pamphlet item from Smuggler's Crate. I'll leave that up here so you can pause and read it if you want, but you can refer and earn. Uh, we got, oh, kids will like these. So we got stickers, over 300 stickers, four sheets. Uh, so let's see if I can. We got some Grogu. It's all Grogu. Wow, it is all Grogu, and there is a lot of them. Holy moly. All right. I don't know if that's worth anything. I doubt it. Next thing. Oh my. What the good lord. They. They gave, it's a it's a plastic bag from Force Awakens. Uh, again, it is Disney, so it's unlicensed. It doesn't have a year. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with a. I mean, okay. I wouldn't say that's too exciting. All right, I think we're down to we got two. Oh, what the? Look at this. Okay, that is pretty cool. All right, I'm definitely gonna do something with this. It just 
It's not like a normal pitcher. It's it's not paper either. It is gloss, as you can tell. Durr. But that is pretty cool. You got Boba Fett. You got Qui Gon. You got young Obi Wan. Luke. You got Padme. You got Anakin as a kid. You got Lando. Jabba. Imperial Guards. Wow. I'll have to find something. That looks like it for the box. And then the last item. Again, not very well set up to show big items here. But it looks like it's a comic. Star Wars Adventures Return to Vader's Castle. So, oops. Turn to Vader's Castle. So this is Star Wars Adventures from 2019. So pretty cool. Comic book. Never really got into collecting comic books as an adult. I did as a kid, uh, but end up selling them all when I went into the military, but didn't really hold on to them. It's in decent condition, but again, it was at the bottom of a box, so it's not like it's minty fresh. Um, all right, so we are now down to the last item. All right, so this is the Topps Chrome Black from 2023. I got this from a local LGS. I have two, so one for, for me to keep and one to open. So we'll go ahead and open this one. I've never opened one before, so this will be first time for me. So I, I know it's more than the signed card in here. I believe there's there's a couple other things, maybe some loose cards. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. That's a neat little setup. So you got one encased autograph card per box. Again, not the best setup here. It looks like there's a pack of some sort. So, so we do have one pack that has three cards in it. So what's funny is you can go to Tops and get the odds. Hmm, I never seen that before, but pretty cool. All right, so let's. Crack. Let's crack this Star Wars open. See what we got here. All right. So we got Kato Laconics. All right. I'm going to have to say okie dokie. We got fantastic fights between Finn and Kylo Ren. I call him the Dime Store Vader. And our last card. Now I think that is from the the Rogue One miniseries. Is that character? Yeah, or from Andor. Yeah, Andor was the name of it. Yeah, it is. All right, that's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's look at the graded card here. So this will be the front. So it says, congratulations, you've received a Star Wars Chrome Black autograph card by Mark Capri as Officer Mike McKay. Officer McKay. From my Death Star, I will destroy every city on the planet. So I'll have to look this one up, but it comes in its own case. It does have a seal. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's sleeved inside that case. Nope. That's just my first glance at this and I'll look at it a little bit closer. A little underwhelming. Of course, you're hoping to see like a Kylo Ren autograph or Princess Leia, of course, since Carrie Fisher has passed, that would have been uh, not awesome that she passed, but awesome that you get a signed card from her. 
And so the lying begins. Or maybe even something more vintage-y. But pretty cool, nonetheless. All right, there you go. That's our first time opening a smuggler's crate for the Star Wars. Opening on this glorious day of May 4th. And before we close out, I'd like to say one thing to all my friends and family out there. Oh, Star Wars jokes. See you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.